Hi, I'm Zach, and today we're going to walk you through the installation process of the Rack Hat Ceiling Partition System. Every component necessary for assembly and install of the Rack Hat is conveniently packaged together as seen here. Each kit is neatly labeled to identify the current and drop down length and the linear footage. For example, here we have a RH kit 98 by 02. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means we have a Rack Hat kit. 98 inches long is our current and drop down length and two linear feet of tracking. Once we've opened our Rack Hat kit package, we'll find inside our vinyl neatly rolled around the tubing. Inside the tubing, we'll find our splicer, our tracking, and our ceiling connector piece safely tucked inside the tubing. What makes the Rack Hat unique is its modular system design. For example, the corner system that ties into it. The modular corner pieces provide an uninterrupted partition which results in a superior containment system. Smaller pieces of vinyl can be added to create a strip door system which can be integrated into the rack hat. Let's get started now with the installation. Our first step is to install our ceiling connectors which tie the aluminum tracking to the ceiling grid. It's very easy. Reach up, insert the first edge into the grid and twist it into place. And we'll do this with the second connector as well. Our second step is to install the aluminum track to our connectors. Notice here that we have a groove provided which will make easy connection to our ceiling. Simply take from one end, insert and continue through until you make connection with both connectors. Our next step now is to add the splicer. With use of this splicer we can build a continuous track system. To install simply push in your button, push through until you hear it click. Then take your next piece of aluminum tracking, push the button in again, and there you have a continuous track system. Our next step will be installing our vinyl drop down. Simply we take the vinyl header, insert it into the aluminum lower groove simply by pushing it into it. Now we continue to repeat these three steps until our rack hat containment is complete. Now that our installation is complete, it's time to trim the vinyl to give it a complete fit and finish. Now we're going to trim our corners. Simply find your center point, trim up just above the cabinet, take your tabs and set them inside. And now we have a consistent corner. In vinyl drop downs, it is common for shifting to occur due to pressure difference within the aisle containment. To prevent vinyl shifting, an aluminum floor strip can be added quickly and easily. Notice here the metal teeth that will grab onto the vinyl. To install, simply slide the vinyl into the aluminum floor strip and pinch the edges. Repeat this process as needed to control shifting. Our new splicer for use underneath lights takes the place of the traditional splicer that comes with each rack hat assembly. This splicer can be used in place of the traditional splicer and allows you to be able to drop sections of track easily underneath lights in the containment line. The splicer is designed to easily fit in the top rail of the rack hat and slide along into the position that you need. Simply slide it in and attach your next section of rail as you normally would. This allows for the assembly to be nice and supported and yet allows easy removal. Once we need access to the lights, it's as simple as sliding the below light splicer back like so and our track and curtain, which we haven't installed for demonstration purposes, easily drops out of the way. To reattach the section, simply put it back into place and slide the light splicer so that it's equally centered and you have your containment back in place. Well, that's about it. Please feel free to visit our website for more helpful information.